Okay, this is the uh, fourth video, Exploded Views. So we're just gonna look at applying some tone or rendering your design. So if we imagine, you don't have to draw this in, but if you imagine the light source is coming in this direction, that means the top parts are gonna be lightest. That means this part on this side is going to be dark. And then that means that somewhere on here, these are what we call our mid-tones, somewhere in the middle, uh, the middle tones. So if we're going to try and apply some colour to the bread on the side, I've tried to pick harmonious colours, so we're going to go for some wholemeal bread. So we've got colours that go together. So these are things like yellows, oranges and browns, got dark brown there as well. So if I think this is going to be the dark brown on this side, so we're going to use a dark brown on this part. So try not to move your wrist too quickly because you'll end up with little gaps in your rendering. So I've got some gaps down the side, so I'll have to change the angle on here so i'm shading this surface in here so this is the dark tone so as i hit that corner it's not a right angle corner it's a rounded corner that means it's going to gradually change tone into the mid tone so again i'm going to blend these colors along the side so rather than just using one pencil crayon try and mix your colors so if i just shade that in on the side so i'm going to pick another harmonious color let's say i go for a lighter brown on this side, I'm just going to go over the top of it and I'm just going to shade that surface. So I still want this to be lighter than the dark brown because this is my mid-tones. There we go. The top section, uh, we're going to use the light brown around the edges. There we go. Trying to make sure I don't go outside the, the lines. There we go. And we'll go around this section. Now in the middle here, we want it to be lighter in the middle part. So I'm just going to blend those colors. So again, if I go too quickly, I'll end up with a scribble. So what I need to do is just go back over my shading. So at the moment, I've locked my wrist and I'm using my elbow to shade. If you just use your wrist, you end up getting like a wave effect when you're shading. So I'm just going to lightly go over the top of these. There we go. Trying to make sure I stay inside the line. There we go. So there's my top top if you, uh, my top uh, piece of bread. If you want to, you could go over the top of it with a bit of a yellow to color blend, makes it a bit richer. There we go. And if you want to get some more tone on this side, if you want it to be darker, you could always put a bit of dark, a bit of black coloring just on the edge there. So that'd be the same for the bottom. If I'm doing the uh, piece of cheese, obviously I'm going to do it, well, not obviously, but I'm going to do it yellow. So my light source is coming this way. So this is going to be the darkest yellow I can get. Now, if I can't get it really dark, what I'm going to do is I need another colour to get that tone. So I could use an orange or a light brown. So if I go over the top of that yellow, if I colour blend it with an orange to get it richer, this bit's going to be my mid-tone. So this is going to be lighter. So I've got a difference in the tone. And then the top one is going to be my light tone. So if I shade it, making sure, well I'm going to say making sure there's no white gaps, but actually I want to create some little white gaps on here in a vertical fashion. And these are my little highlights. Maybe the cheese has got a sheen to it. There we go, something like that. And then on the inside, if my light source is coming this way, that was, that's going to be dark yellow. That's going to be dark yellow. There we go. Oops, did it on the wrong side. That's going to be my dark yellow there. And dark yellow on that side. You could also, because there's going to be a shadow cast underneath here, we could even mix in a bit of orange just under that surface that's cast onto the top there. Okay, so there's the cheese. Then we did the green section. Again, I've got two harmonious colours on the green. It's got a dark one and a light one. So on this side, it's going to be as dark as I can get it. So I'm pressing on really hard. Again, I've done a scribble, so I'm going to have to go back over to blend those in. There we go. So on this side, it's really, really dark. As dark as I can get it. And then it's going to go lighter the closer it gets to that light source. There we go. And if I can't get it uh, any differentiation between these two, I need it darker here. I use the dark green, and if I blend it over the top, there we go. Something like that. Okay, so don't be afraid to mix your colours. Okay, there we go. And the top, the bottom one would be the same as that one.